What, uh, what the hell happened? Wow. <sighs> Here's your RTX 4090. All right. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Julian from Julian Tech TM, and today I have a special guest, Jimena. Hey, like, no, 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 it's Jimena. Jimena. No, Jimena. Jimena, and I'm Juliano. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Jimena. I work at Aftershock. I actually do the graphic design and the social content. You work at Aftershock, and... but you have not built a PC before. Yes, I've been working here for two years, and they never let me build a PC. I don't know why. What's the majority of the things you I do? I did like most, so like a lot of ads. So when you get targeted by any artwork, it's probably done by me. Ah. And also TikTok and yeah, Instagram. But the bigger guess is actually the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090. That's correct. This is uh, sponsored by Aftershock and NVIDIA. After building this PC, there was one more sponsor that came in. Thank you so much, Zotac. So they sent us their NVIDIA GeForce RTX 1490 Zotac M Extreme A Aero. I seen the pictures online and I will say it's a lot better in person than online, especially because you're only looking at the side. But look at this design and it's so huge. Look at the comparison. This is the RTX 3090. This is the RTX 4090. What, what the nonsense? The first thing you do is the motherboard, right? Correct. X670 Aeros Elite AX. Wow, you like professional at unboxing. Huh? I know, right? Uh, let's install the CPU. Yes, so we got here AMD. We got here the AMD Ryzen. 7000 series. Not just the 7000 series. We have the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X. Knife. How do you call it in English? What is your native language? German. German? What is your nationality? My passport is Austrian, uh -huh. but my mom is Singapore and my dad is Austrian. Uh, 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 oh my god, wow, I'm scared. The way you slice it so near to the motherboard. That's okay, I'm a Pisces, you know, most Pisces are zero killers. Most Pisces are what? Zero killers. Zero killer. What's a zero killer? Zero killer. Or oh, serial killer. <laughs> like a serial. Serial. Um, <laughs> um. Ta da! Wow. That's so shiny. The... This is brighter than your future, guys. You know what's the triangle to triangle? For the CPU? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Where's the triangle? Inside here. You see, where's oh, the yeah, here. Oh, ah, good, good. Okay, where's the triangle on the CPU? Ah, okay, good, okay. Push down the metal bar on the right. Okay, Push I can do this. Push down to the right, go up. Okay? Push down. Down? Yeah. To the right. Oh, wait. It's, oh. it's quite. Oh, yeah, it's like this. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, doubt me. I don't remember now. Push up. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Calm down, calm down. Do this with the socket. Okay. Ah, so remember the triangle on the left, right? You're gonna place the CPU carefully onto the socket, okay? Carefully, okay? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hold it by the sides! I'm Hold it by the sides! Hold it by the sides! You're not supposed to touch the gold pin! Oh really? I mean the gold plates. You see, you see, you see below? Oh, you mean below? It's gold. So oh, you don't sorry. want to touch it. Your nails, man. I'm very scared your nails hit the pins. I'm very scared. You make me nervous. Okay, I can do it. Check. Good. Very good. Okay, now we can put down the metal flap. Okay. Yep, correct. Yes, correct. Oh god. <laughs> oh. I need to send more. Yay! You didn't overreact to this thing coming out. Did you see it come out I... before? Yeah, yeah. Ah, I... you see like aftershock employee. Okay, <laughs> next. What should we install? Uh the RAM. RAM. Why is the RAM gone? Teach me some German. How to say my computer very good. My computer is sehr gut. <laughs> my computer is sehr gut? Yeah! Oh! Not bad. Nice, I got nice. it. Didn't sound right though. I, just, I, I sound like I go, huh? Computer sehr good. <laughs> computer sehr. Okay, do you know which slot to put it into? You've that's, seen so many PCs. Like, so I know right. that's like this like guide kind of thing. Alright, so there's right. a first priority slot. What is the first priority slot? A1? That sounds like priority, no? It should be, right? But it's not. It's quite standardized. It's the second and the last one. The thing you need to do first is to align the notch to the notch. Wait, wait, wait. I should like unlock open, the notch. Unlock, right? First. Second, second, second. Oh, second. Second, ah, uh, second. All right. Okay. Look at this pro going. Let's go. Ah, wrong. Huh? Oh, wrong. Sorry. It's quite hard, ah. <laughs> uh. mm. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to break it or not. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. ASMR. ASMR. Okay, very nice. Finally. So, you have installed the X 
TG Lancer RGB DDR5 memory. Exactly. Because all 7000 series uh, motherboards comes with DDR5 now, there's no DDR4. And this is 6000 mega transfer per second. Do the honors. Super fast. Nice. What's next? Next, uh, SSD. Oh! You hide it. Oh! You know where's the SSD, you see? Wow, wow. Samsung Com SSD. Competent guess, finally. Promote me Aftershock. <laughs> SSD is a Samsung SSD. I think this is a Gen 4 1 TB NVMe SSD. So you want to insert it in a 45 degree. 45 degree. 45? Yeah. Like this? Yep. Mm. Mm. Ah! Wow. Oh, and then ah, this one is the... ah, there we go. Whoa. This is for the heat sink. Okay. okay, that was not very exciting. Yeah. Don't you hear a German talk joke too? Yeah. Okay, ging ein Frosch zum Supermarkt, fragt der Verkäufer dann, ey, was willst du kaufen? Sagt der Frosch Quark. <laughs> My jokes are the best. <laughs> I just know that. Okay, what's next? The cooler? Ah, wow. Yeah. Competent guess, yeah. finally. Ooh. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna screw it on. Screw it on, yes, correct. When do you start picking up followers? When I did my TikTok. <laughs> do people rec recognize you? In the streets? Sometimes. Mm, how, how's the experience? <laughs> it's like very new to me because like, yeah, yeah, I've been yeah. here only four years and then like suddenly people recognize me. So it's actually quite nice that people actually recognize me. Yeah. yeah it does make me very, very happy. Like, oh, you watch my videos nice. and you enjoy it. That's great. Thermal paste. Yes. I'm gonna make a heart. No. You can either choose <laughs> small x method or p, p method. Wait, what's the p method? Not p as in the letter p. p as in the p. Rice. P. I was thinking of something else. <laughs> No, not take out your pants and pee. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Consistent, huh? don't fat, then skinny. Huh? Too much already. Oh, I, I, yeah, yeah, you see. Oh my god, too much, too much, too much, too much. Sorry. Try not to get too much to the edge. Confident, confident, confident. Confident, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, sure, okay, okay, enough, enough, enough. Okay, okay. I want you to screw in crisscross, okay? Okay. What's next? Mm, the chesses? Yes. I would help, but she fitter than me, man. Please tell the audience what case this is. This is the Ultra Crow, is it? Hey, don't don't say your aftershock branding, okay? I know you do the. What's wrong with it? It's the Lian Li O11 Dynamic Evo. Oh, look at that! All right, I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, we're building this, and we're gonna sell it later on the aftershock. I'm yeah. not I'm not sure how yet, but we'll get the information at the end of the video. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So. We're gonna place this at the experience center and you can come and visit and see our work. So we have to do a good work. We yeah. have to do the good work. Yes. We have to do a I good will. job. I'll make it look really pretty. So we're gonna install the PSU first. Okay. Usually I don't install PSU first, but okay. you need to help I'll, me more. I'll, I'll help you know right now. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> okay, next. Yes. So these are standoff screws because you don't wanna install the motherboard directly on the case. Because oh. it was short circuit. So it's standing on top of the case. Correct. Hovering as you said. Hovering. So I'm going to help you hold this while you okay, I'll hold head this. in. Yeah. I don't like any games that you look forward to playing. Like any new games. Because I've been trying to like find new games. I don't know. Like There's not many games I'm looking out. forward to Hogwarts Legacy. I'm going to add the front cable connectors. We're gonna do like a surgeon nurse kind of thing, okay? The front panel connector. Got it. Audio. Audio. Good. Coming in. Okay, nice. Guess what we're gonna do next? Uh, the GPU, I guess. Yeah! Oh. GPU. So oh, this is a fat card. It takes three PCIe slots. What the moly moly. What moly moly? This adapter cable is different from the RCX 3090 Founders Edition cable. So very important not to anyhow mix. Huh? Okay, so let's add this bad boy. So the GPU comes with the GPU, a GPU stand and a power adapter. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Whoa, my god. Oh my god, it's plugged in. It's so dangerous. Do not do that. We can add the GPU stand first. Yeah, okay, we can let go. Add the screws. Oh, that was scary. Eh? I could have died. Oh, this is damn big. Eh? It's insane. Eh? Where can I put this GPU stand? Maybe I can put it at the side here. Yeah, not too bad. I don't know whether I mentioned it yet, but you're gonna need four eight times PCIe power. That's insane. Eh? Four. Eh? I thought three was already too much, but now four. Jeez. So I also changed the cables 
to bra braided cable so it looks better. So the motherboard and PCIe cables are braided, more chill. With that, at the display port, and finally the power to the pill. Oh my god, hey, that is that is nice leh. I wouldn't imagine me saying I like curves, but this is actually not bad. Now I want everything to be curved. Mm, that's done, we can go back to the main video. It's been a few days since I built the PC. I've done all the benchmarks already. Yeah. So what do you think? Like I've, I think it the looks last great. Time, yeah, the last time you've seen it, it was still like bare bone. So I have uh, Cyberpunk running. It's yeah. running at 4K. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. We go We go ultra first, okay? We go yes. ultra first without DLSS. Okay. okay. What do you think the FPS will be? Without DLSS, ah? Uh? Like maybe 300? 300? No lah, not that good lah. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I so too high. 83. Oh, okay, okay. Don't forget, it's 4K. Oh, yeah, true. If you, uh, shadows are insane with ray tracing. Right, so if you look... Reflection, yeah. You look at this ray, the, the reflection, right? This is without ray tracing. Yeah. It doesn't really... You can see that it's like... Yeah. It kind of... It just appears like a bit Yeah, weird. turn on ray tracing. Okay. Ooh. We're going to turn on ray tracing, right? Yeah. And not just ultra ray tracing. We're going to do psycho. Wow. Uh, oh. I'm so have, like, 80 FPS. Go crazy. Okay. Yeah. This is without DLSS. Remember, uh, without DLSS. Should I guess again the FPS? Yes. Okay, maybe like 30. I think it's a good guess. If I'm not wrong, because it needs to be at least more than 25. Uh, wow. 40, 40, 37. But look at the freaking oh, reflections, it's very right? Yeah, it's very pretty. It's like it's night and day. You just ignore the people. <laughs> like it's correct. But I would say 30 FPS is not very playable. Yeah. So let's turn on DLSS. You know what's DLSS, right? Like some like AI technology. Yes, correct. It's like generating with AI. Oh yeah. No. This is regular DLSS. This is DLSS 2. Okay. I'm not sure how much. Wait, okay, let me guess. Maybe like 80? 80? I think that's a good guess. 95. Look at this. Ain't how no smooth bad. it is. That is now, really smooth. Can I try? Now, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, what the table? Heaven, you no no, you shouldn't. You shouldn't try it. Because there's one more. Oh, one more? DLSS 3. Oh, damn. So you kind of understand what's DLSS, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. DLSS 3, instead of just filling in with AI, they are filling actual frames. Okay. So imagine, like, you're making an animation, right? Yeah. Instead of, like, having to do it on your own, yeah. like, frame oh. by frame, yeah, I know in what between you mean. frames, the AI will yeah. calculate and yeah. see what's in between. I know what you mean, yeah. Ah, ah, I will explain later on. Uh, more about it in detail, but DLSS frame generation. Whoa. Extra Whoa. 40 FPS. Whoa. So we are at 130 FPS range. 4K, ray tracing at Psycho. Wow, the water. But look, oh, oh my god, look at, look at the water. Yeah, look, look I'm gonna look at the water. Like here, see my the reflection. God. Hey, look up, look up, oh, look up. Wow. By the way, it looks exactly like the anime. <laughs> <laughs> Even the room looks the same. I heard, yeah. I heard. Even having a 3090, I'm struggling to play the game at 2K with ray tracing. And now we can play at 4K ultra ray tracing cycle. Wow. It's insane. Like if you look at the whole environment, it looks amazing. So one more thing we have to do. I'm gonna sign. Kimenia. <gasps> ah. Can I sign somewhere that like, people cannot see, right? No, this one cannot see. This one is inside. So it's like a... Wait, do I sound touch. like sideways or? Up to you. Mm. Nice. And then my one. Oh my god, I feel like it's not as girly because girls always make a heart and stuff. I'm like so. <laughs> wow, yours is like so much cooler. No lah. I messed up that little part here. So whoever that wants to buy this, don't worry, it's not buck. Oh my god, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna perfect it. Oh. The details will be in the description because uh, this is more for up. This is for Aftershock to sell it. I will send this to Aftershock QC area. They're gonna QC this PC, make sure it's running, find the lights all correct, the cables managed to their standard. I think I think it passed, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And uh, you have like like an Easter egg here that we uh, yeah, build it. So, Easter egg is good. so you know, you know that they didn't build more of these, like, and they say, oh, Julian built one. Huh? Yeah. Right. right. We'll, I will put this in the experience center. But thank you so much. Himena for joining me in this video. It's been a, a long journey. So now I'm gonna get into the benchmarks and obviously explain the DLSS in more detail. So we're gonna high five transition this, alright? Okay. One, two, okay. three. <laughs>
three, two, one. Okay, I'm back after a few days of benchmarking the PC. This is like my battle station. I benchmark the computer here. You can see the PC is here. There's a monitor here, keyboard. Then this is my main PC where I get information and uh, research and also compare like other benchmarks. Benchmarking this PC, stupidly insane. Legit two times more performance than the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090. Even so, with the RTX brand, you should know three technologies. Ray tracing, NVIDIA Reflex, and DLSS. How I felt about ray tracing has always been meh. I feel like I haven't found a game that really utilized ray tracing very well. But with Cyberpunk 2077 in its current state, it does look good with ray tracing turned on. I think there was an update because I checked back. The reflection seems nicer. Especially like water on the floor. Reflecting with all the lights. Pretty cool. But there's one downside. FPS drop. Sometimes half your FPS is God. And with DLSS, it was supposed to help with that. But to me, it wasn't a good trade. I would rather just turn off ray tracing and just turn on DLSS to get better FPS with ultra settings. Fine by me. But now, with obviously the better 4090 performance and the new DLSS 3, you get more frames per second, like free frames. Like, here's some frames. Bro, I'm playing Cyberpunk 4K Ultra Ray Tracing. Psycho Ray Tracing. Somehow. And it's doing 120 FPS. Sometimes 130 FPS. So DLSS 3 was very interesting to me. I have explained DLSS 2 before, but let me do it again. So DLSS, Deep Learning Super Sampling, uses AI to upscale resolution. By having your computer like the GPU render in a lower resolution than your native monitor or your native resolution, and then upscaling back to native resolution and filling in the blanks or the pixels. For simplicity's sake, let's use a native resolution of 4x4. 4 16 pixels altogether. Instead of rendering all 16 frames with your GPU, your GPU will render in a lower resolution, let's say 2x2. Two two. Then DLSS will upscale it back to 4x4 four four and then fill in the missing pixels with AI, giving you a complete Frame. So one is a GPU actually generating graphic pixels and another one is an AI guessing what's in the middle. I say guess is a very loose term but it's learning what's supposed to be in the middle of the pixels. You guys following me? Now with DLSS 3, they are not only feeling pixels but they are feeling frames. Yes, frames. Entire frames. Meaning on top of doing what DLSS 2 does which is filling in pixels, they are filling in actual complete frames. So for example, your GPU will render one frame, DLSS will render another frame and then your GPU will render the third frame. Uh, I'm mind blown. I thought that was so freaking cool. Because this results in more frames per second. Smoother gameplay. Meaning maybe we can play 8K at ultra. Oh my god, I need to try that one day. And on top of that, NVIDIA Reflex helps with latency by removing the render queue of the input to monitor sequence. I'm simplifying it a lot, but basically the CPU, GPU, and game has to communicate one and other. With these three technologies, ray tracing, DLSS3, and NVIDIA Reflex, on top of having the performance of RTX 4090. Oh man, it's uh, it's crazy. It already has improvement in existing games like Cyberpunk 2077. I wonder what developers have in store with this technology today. Like what are they gonna build today? Crisis, come on. I know you can do something. So something new with NVIDIA as well is their new NVAC will support AV1. Usually it's the H264, which a lot of people should know. AV1 is 40% more efficient, meaning you can get better quality with a lower bit rate. So I've done some testing with the H264 and the AV1, you be the judge. You tell me. And last but not least, productivity. 16,384 CUDA cores. I just run Blender. You, you see. You see. And you pairing it with like the best CPU. Oh golly, this is like the best workstation you can get in the consumer market, man. Holy moly. I guess the thing is like, to think about it, NVIDIA doesn't need to do this. They're dominating the market, but wow. It's, it's pretty impressive. I, I I have not been shocked with GPU performance since the 1000 series. So yeah, um, basically, uh, 
<laughs> this is where I show you some benchmarks and then I hope you enjoy the benchmarks. Okay, so the first few benchmarks is Cyberpunk 3090 versus 4090. This one is to give you a perspective of 1440p and 4K. Now you can really see how DLSS 2 and DLSS 3 compares. At the moment, DLSS 3 works very well with Cyberpunk 2077 and a Plague's Tale. Then the next few benchmarks are just games to compare with previous GPUs. Uh, CSGO, obviously, take it with a grain of salt because it's more CPU bound. And we're back here. Yeah, we didn't manage to put a PC in an experience center yet. But don't worry, information will be below. If you want to buy it, you can uh, email me because we are getting this content very fresh out of the oven. The 1490 just released. A lot of information are not out yet. And uh, and this period is the first time I'm handling like new hardware, like the CPU and now the RTX 4090. So do bear with me for this period and I uh, hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions about the RTX 4090, uh, do let me know. This card is definitely not for everyone. It's not going to be cheap, but if you want the best of the best at the moment, wow, this, this is pretty good. <laughs> Again, thank you. Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you, Sean Wan, for subscribing. You have subscribed. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully next week, hopefully no cock up next week and I'm done.